Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. I'm Ryan and this is Ryan Recommends. If you haven't had a chance to subscribe, please hit that subscribe button along with the little bell icon so you can stay current whenever I post a new video. Today we're going to be taking a closer look at the Super Nintendo, the original design, and the Junior or Mini. And we're going to go over how you hook this up to your TV. So stick around to the end and I'll let you know my preferred way to hook these things up. Okay, let's just go over what I got laid out here. I've got the original Super Nintendo, and I've got the Junior or the Mini. Um, I've got one controller plugged into each one of them. Um, I've got the official power supply, we'll go over that. Um, the RF switch, uh, the AV cables, and then this is an aftermarket solution that actually um, allows you to plug it into HDMI, and we'll cover that as well. And then I've got my trusty uh, little TV here. So let me get some things turned around and set up. And then uh, we'll start showing you how you hook these bad boys up. Okay, let's just take a minute and look at the differences between the back of these. So on the right we've got the original design and on the left we've got the junior. So I'm going to zoom in here. And what you're going to see the difference is this is the original. And this is the junior. So... Essentially what you've got here is an RF out option with a switch for channel 3 or channel 4. You've got your power and then the AV cable plug. You've got the exact same AV cable plug, same design and everything, same power supply. So the power supply that you get if you got the original one will work for both units. The AV cable will work for both, but if you have an RF uh, switch adapter which we'll show you here in a second um, that is not an option over here on the junior so let me get these cables lined out and then I'll start showing you how to plug these into the back of the console okay first thing is the AC adapter the official branded ones will say Nintendo AC adapter on there and they'll have this gray color coded plug on the end like I said that'll work for both consoles here this is an official set of Nintendo AV cables, it'll have the Nintendo brand on there. This is the gray color. Um, you can see where the pins connect in there. And then you've got your um, video, which is the yellow, and your left and right audio. And then this is the RF switch. Um, I'll go over this here in a second. So here is the connection to the TV, where it plugs into the console. And then up here is basically a pass-through. So once you hook this up to your TV so that you don't sacrifice being able to have your cable come through, you can hook your TV up to here along with the Super Nintendo and the signal will pass through here and still go into the TV. And that's why there's the switches here for the different channels as well. So um, that's how you set that up. Okay, and to plug this in, pretty simple. You're going to take your power supply that's going to go into there you're going to take your AV cable plug it into there and that's all the connections for the back now if you did have to use um, the RF switch this has this style plug right here that's where this would go into this port here and that carries the audio and the video signal all the way through into this cable Okay, so that's the regular original design unit. It's the exact same if we turn over here and we look at the Junior, it's the same thing. You just plug your AV cable into here and then you grab your power supply. Sorry, camera work here. Um, goes into there and then that would be plugged in all the way. So there you go. So that's how you plug it in the back. Alright, let's uh, get the TV out and I'll show you how you actually connect all this to the TV. Okay, I got it all plugged in, and I've got the back of my trusty TV here. I like this TV because it's got pretty much all the inputs you need to do a good demonstration. So, if we're going to go with the AV cables, which is what I would recommend, you're going to get a better signal um, than with the RF switch. Mine has the AV right here on the side. If we look at the back, there's the component, which um, Super Nintendo does not support, so do not try and plug these into the green, blue, and red, even though they look similar. And I wouldn't plug your audio into here either because that audio goes with this video because this is the video signal. That's the audio signal. So I wouldn't 
plug those into there either. Then we have our HDMI port and um, a VGA and an audio in, um, like a headphone jack style. So essentially, pretty simple. Yellow goes to yellow. I know you guys laughed at me in my last video about this, but you know you'd be surprised how many people can't figure this out. White goes to red, or white, and red goes to red. Okay, and you just get those plugged in all the way, and you're all set there. Now, let's say you don't have that, and you want to hook up using the RF switch. Well, that's where this antenna connection comes into play. So let's unplug that. Let's grab this. Okay, I've got this plugged in right here. And then you would essentially twist that on and plug that in there. And like I said, if you had an extra TV antenna that you were using, you would just then screw it into the back of that, and then the signal would carry through uh, this cable into there. So pretty simple. And obviously the power brick, pretty obvious. You just plug that into the wall, and then you'd be all set up. So same thing would happen with the Junior. Obviously, there's no difference if we'd had everything plugged in there, you would set it up exactly the same on the TV. One quick note about these uh, RF switches. See this one here? There's a little S in a parentheses. I don't know if you can see that right there. It says parentheses, you know, S, and then NES control. Deck. This is the one that comes with the Super Nintendo. If yours doesn't have that S, that just means it was uh, the one that originally came with the original Nintendo. Um, they're the exact same thing. They just, when they remanufactured them again for the Super Nintendo, they just put a little S there. But they're 100% compatible with each other. So if you happen to have um, one that doesn't have the S, it'll still work. Okay, so this cable here is what I showed at the beginning of the video. This is more of a modern solution. Let's say you have a TV that has only like four HDMI inputs. It has no legacy inputs. Um, they make these products here where it's the same plug as the um, authentic Super Nintendo AV uh, plug-in, excuse me. But instead, it converts it in this box here to HDMI. So then you can plug that into your HDMI input. Um, most of these require some type of external power source. So this has a USB cable here that runs into the side of the box and provides a little bit of power. And like this particular one, um, you can switch between 1080p and 720p. Um, these are good little solutions. I do say that I've tried several of these, and there can be a touch of lag sometimes with these. Um, and on retro consoles, you know, lag is, is not good. But essentially, it's the same thing, right? We all know how to do this. You plug this into the HDMI cable. This end here would go into the back of the Super Nintendo same spot as before and then you would just find a USB port for this uh, to get uh, power to it so that's an alternate solution if you just absolutely have to HDMI they do sell these cables I'll leave a link to the, uh, where I got this one but there's a lot of them out there that uh, you can choose from so definitely uh, my preferred way to hook these up is with the standard AV cable while the HDMI cable is nice and you'll think you'll get a better signal, I guess I'm just kind of old school and I feel like the performance and the lag is hard to beat, especially if you've got it on a good TV. Um, the AV cable is my preferred way to go. Now if you can't, obviously there's a lot of uh, solutions out there more than just what I showed in this video for HDMI um, conversions, but um, try and find one that's quality. That, that way you've got the best gaming experience possible. Okay, I've got both of these hooked up to the TV. I've got this one hooked up using the AV cable, and I've got this one using that HDMI converter cable. And we'll fire these both up and kind of show you that process. So just grab my remote, hit source, and I've got this hooked up to the side AV where we showed you previously. I just select side AV when the game's not in, put it all the way down, power, and uh, success. We've got ourselves some Super Metroid playing.
Okay, and then if we compare that to the junior here, um, we'll have to go back and change the source. Uh, this only has one HDMI, so it's easy for me to pick. I'm going to select HDMI. And then I'm going to come over here to the junior. And uh, one thing about the junior, though, is that um, it doesn't have an eject button. And it doesn't have a really a light uh, when, when it's on. So this one, you've got to kind of pull them out. Put the games all the way. Same thing. Insert it the same way. Um, and then you just turn it on and off right there. Sometimes it takes a couple times to get it going. There we go. So that is with the HDMI. Sorry about the video here. I'm just recording the TV. But there you go, guys. That's how you hook them up. The original Super Nintendo and the Junior. And um, all the connections that are out there. So if you guys have any questions, leave in the comments below. I appreciate you guys watching. See you in the next one. Later.